The local folks got together and raised the money to build a suspension bridge there, and, and it was mostly a wooden bridge, but it had steel cables, and it was the first suspension bridge west of the Mississippi. It dates from 1888. It was pedestrian and probably horses and wagons. You know, they, this is way before automobiles, and that was the problem. The bridge hadn't been up very long, and all of a sudden we need to replace it. After World War I, there's a partnership to fund a new bridge there. They all had an interest in it. It was a vital connection. Work started in 1920 and uh, it was completed in December of 1922. So we have a 360 foot steel through arch. It was uh, something to behold when hordes of people showed up in December of 1922 when they had the dedication of that bridge, when it officially opened. What we see is there's a lot of energy here, there's a lot of enthusiasm. They had two dances, a dance in the afternoon and a dance in the evening, and there was even a wedding on the bridge. There were dignitaries who were there, state highway officials, every local elected. It was a big deal.